A planet that goes by the name of Methuselah orbits a binary star system about 12,000 light years away. But Methuselah is not its actual name, it's PSR B1620-26b, and this brings us to our story of finally uh, we may be able to actually name planets and almost legitimately this time. Yay! Don't get your hopes up, suckers. Yeah, the so... The story sucks. <laughs> I told you not to start stories like that. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, people are gonna get excited about naming planets, and now and you're not okay, gonna Okay, okay, Tim, ruin it. Okay, so this, it's, I mean, the public at large doesn't get to submit names or vote on names, or mm -hmm. even see the names that are up to be voted on. You have to be part of a nonprofit organization or involved in an astronomy club. Now, so this is being put on by the International Astronomical Union, which has maybe the most... Uh, credibility? Credibility over what planets are called. And that's nice. That's nice. Because this is not those name a star after your Don't grandmother Don't do that, scams. by the way. That, that has no standing. They have and no authority to name those stars, and no one's even keeping track of the names. No. So please don't waste your money like that. Um, but this is, it's a little bit more legit, right? So what happens is you're part of an astronomy club or some other nonprofit to, and you would, you would come up with names to nominate, and then people who have signed up with the IAU's website would be able to vote on them uh, as designated from the IAU in an order. I mean, which is kind of a bummer because I don't think these groups are going to have much fun with it. Mm -hmm. Right. I think they're going to take it really seriously and they'll be better than LGR467-89 whatever. Um, well, see, the thing is, it's still going to keep that as an official name. PSRB 162026B. So we're nicknaming. Planets. Yeah, you're voting on nicknames in essentially. In quotes beneath the planet, essentially. So you kind of remember what it is better, but yes, in quotes beneath the planet, essentially. That's kind of lame. Uh, I, I mean, I understand the process because it does prevent the you know the four chaners from going in there and naming it Dickbutt Jr. Perfect. Hitler um, was. Which I would be down Hitler for. Hitler did nothing wrong. The planet. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. I don't want that shit. That would be horrible. I mean, we got 305 planets to name. I think one of them could be that. Mm, yeah, I don't want it. Free country. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's terrible. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, so, so I understand the limitations and, you know, going through committee essence to, uh, to, to get these confirmed. Um, but at, at the same time, I want to name a planet. The, the, the names, if it's just a nickname and the public at large doesn't get to vote on it, it doesn't hold gravitas. Yeah. It's not going to be in a textbook. You know, we're never going to talk about any of, about Methuselah. We're not going to learn about that in, in textbooks. We'll learn. We're going to learn about Methuselah. Maybe, maybe because it's it was very the first one. old. It's very old. Okay. Because it's much better to take a test about Methuselah than it is about to take a test about PSR B one six two zero. You'll remember it better. This is also the group, by the way, that designated Pluto was not a planet, oh, which I'm not infuriated. Downers. See, look at this guy. It infuriated the public, uh, Matthew Mercer included. I'm very angry. <laughs> Pluto um, didn't even get around the sun once in its planethood mm. since it was discovered to the point it got demoted. Yeah, at least wait then. Like, uh, wait till after its birthday. Yeah, right? That's to take just, away what a planet means. Yeah. Or well, to change what a planet means, rather. Um, and planet also, this is only going to be working with 305 exoplanets that were discovered before December 31st, 2008. This rules out 977 planets that were discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope. My only requirement is that they pull all the possible names from modern day science fiction. Agreed. Like 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 Isaac Asimov, Arthur C. Clarke, like the classics, like you know, even from the Mass Effect universe. Like uh -huh. pull from those realms, I'll be okay. I'm glad you said that. I have some suggestions. Okay, Tim. <laughs> Did not ask you, but go ahead. Okay, so we, we've got uh, Arrakis from Dune. Nice. Uh, I like. Uh, I mean, you can get a, at least one Star Wars in there, like a Tatooine or well, a. Well, it has to have binary stars then. Suns. Yes, I'm sure we could find one. If of it those. doesn't have that, then I don't want it that. Way. You're right. I completely agree. We're on the same page. Uh, we could do the Vogue Sphere from Good. Hitchhiker's Guide Good. to the Galaxy. I like it. Ego, Marvel, yeah. Living Planet. Yeah, although you stick steer clear of that one. Yeah. Or that's build dangerous. a giant mustache. On it. <laughs> so it nice I'm sure we could find a planet that looks like it has a mustache. I think Come we on. can. Yeah. Uh, Persephone, Firefly. Good. Raxacor uh, Caphalacopatorius. <gasps> Caprica. Doc from Doctor Who. That's Caprica's good. Uh, Unicron. Robot <laughs> oh, no. I just think planet. that you have so much good science fiction to choose from that, like, you can't not name it one of those. You can't. 
here's what I'm saying. If in, in the future, when, when our race gets to the point where we're colonizing distant planets, these very, very far exoplanets. Do you want to say goodbye to everyone you know and love to be aboard a craft for God knows how long to travel through the dark black expanse of space to arrive finally at PSR B1620-26 <laughs> or Arrakis? Come on. I mean, you do have a point that could rally public interest. Yeah, I'd be excited for that. Um, exploration and, and, and discovery. The spice must flow, Kim. <laughs> Indeed it must. This is happening. I'm with you on this. All right, so maybe, maybe the system could be a little bit better to get public interest on board with all of this. Uh, let us know what you think below of renaming 305 exoplanets, Methuselah included, uh, in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe. <laughs>